probably can't see anything, but um, just came out from the residence in lobby, registered for my hotel room, went to Salito's, loaded up with some carbs, and now I'm heading to my room. So this is it. Papa. Okay, this is the hotel room of the beast. Joke attack. This is where I'll be staying for the night. Uh, it's pretty nice. Nice accommodations. You know, nice little bed there. They said it was a pull-out sofa. I thought that was all I had, but I actually get a bed. Pretty nice TV there. Wi-Fi. And, uh, kitchen. This is, like, cool. So I'm basically going to just rest up right now and get ready for tomorrow, which is going to be quite a arduous ordeal running this marathon. I plan on winning. Uh, I'm going to choose the pace team that I feel is suitable. I'm actually about to sit at that desk right there and decide. And when I'm done, I'll get ready and settle down. And there we go. What up, boy? It's your boy, Joker Tech. This is me, ready to get looking ready for the race, ready to fly out this place. What is it, man? You already know. It's the race day. Race time. Time to get it on me. Time to get it on me. <laughs> Here it is. It is the Bushnell building. We're now operating the streets. This is uh, this is the marathon. About to go and check the food out. Waiting for these people to get here. Uh, who knows how long it's going to take them, but that was one heck of a race. I don't know if we're doing that one again, but definitely be the finish. There it is. We're at Family Dollar picking up some Gatorade. This is Jason K. Day once again. I have conquered my goal, my dream, dream I've chased of uh, finishing the marathon. I wish I had a better time, 448 wasn't that good, but we're all done. Okay, I'm just trying this again. This is a follow-up to Marathon Day. Yesterday, as you know, I completed the marathon, and I've included some video in this episode of The Beast. But I will give you a rundown on how the day went from beginning to end as well as I can recount it. Now, Wednesday this week, as I mentioned earlier in a couple of my updates, I had the audacity to do insanity. I did the max cardio program, which is 47 minutes long, and I did that about Wednesday, 6 o'clock. Thursday, I'm not that sore, I'm just a little drained. And it wasn't until Thursday night, Friday morning, I started to feel a little sore. And I thought to myself, man, it's been two days, I should be good by Saturday morning. So I drive to Connecticut for the marathon, Saturday. I get there, I get situated, get the hotel room, I go in. Nice hotel, by the way, Marriott Hotel. And... I noticed that I'm starting to feel a little more sore. So, I took as many supplements as I could, and I went to sleep. I woke up the day of the marathon, and it is just sore from knee to foot. And I'm worried at this point, like, okay, what's going to happen? Am I going to complete the race? How is this going to play out? So I quickly make my way to the race site. And I'm looking for anything I can to help out. Whatever supplements they offer, I'm looking for them. But I didn't get much time to do anything because there's so much clutter before the race. And you have to check your bag and all the other stuff. I even get a chance to stretch. So we get to the front starting line. And we're choosing our pace team. I chose a 355, 345 pace team for some weird reason. Now... Before the race, I made a comment. I said, man, my feet are already sore from standing up. And the guy to my right looks at me like, Whoa. like, you got a problem, buddy. And I'm like, uh-oh. So the race starts. Now, I feel a little energized from all the energy stuff I took. But by mile 
six, seven, eight. I'm sore. My legs are already giving out. My feet are hurting me. And I'm trudging forward. By the time we reach the halfway point, my legs are shot. Now I'm just hoping I can finish. I saw people stopping to stretch. Eventually I had to. I had to stop at one point, get this old man to tie my shoes because I couldn't even bend down. And he took like 10 minutes to tie my shoes. And I got back on track. By mile 20, it felt like the marathon should be over. And so the last six miles, I literally had to cut that out. And my time was 4.46. Not the worst, but I definitely see improvements I've been made. My time could have been a lot better. I think it's a good hour of that time wasted because of the fact that my muscles hadn't healed from training earlier in the week. So I'm just going to take that into the next marathon. And it was a good experience. I mean, what can I say? To be continued. The payoff of the marathon. Excuse the toys and stuff. In a poem I wrote, I said, I wake each morning and look at my physique in the mirror. Then I turn and watch the squirrel run up that tree. And I know society may love to play God and never give me that chance. But it's not up to them. Well, anyway. Recounting over the yesterday's race, I'm going to say this. From the start of the race, my thoughts were, these people aren't human. I saw people stop at the portable toilets and on the side of the road, peeing, defecating, sometimes walking backwards, and they seemed to always stay ahead of me. I was passed by wave after wave after wave from the very start. It wasn't until later on people started to taper off and show some mortality, and I started to walk abreast of some people. But um, there was a lot of encouragement from some of the people at the end of the race telling me to keep going. And uh, shout out, much appreciation to them, shout out to my family, and the support and uh it's been it's been good and towards the end this guy was saying it's all adrenaline now so keep running it's right around the corner and i started booking it and of course i'm panting and running and dashing around the corner running shoulder to shoulder with this woman who could be like my grandmother and we round the corner and we're running through and I run right under the same side she does, and I realize after the fact, that was the woman's side. Of course, I would do something like that. The guy says, it's over there, and I look over, and I'm like, wow. That was embarrassing. But now I know to prepare for the next time. Make sure I have, uh, do some training when it comes to my running form. Train more for, uh, having a higher rest speed, being able to run faster for longer periods of time, and uh, getting more rest. I'll definitely be prepared next time, and I'm motivated now, because I will crush my competition on the second go-round.